We came from roaches on the floor A notice on the door Baking soda in the jar But now we focus on the law It's like soap up in a cloth The way it's soaking and it wash It's something like good dope Cause it's potent and it's raw I used to post up out of store Work stash behind the door Everything I had was First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Oh, we are the Hebrew Israelites. What's up, bro? Okay, I believe the Garden of Eden was in Africa. Okay. Okay. I mean, you know, we agree with that. Okay. And so, um, the first human was in uh, Northern Africa, right? What do you mean? I mean, you know, man. First I mean, human? Yeah, I mean, you believe there's only one human and then we all come from one person? Oh, I believe, I believe we come from the most high, which is, you know. Well, no, as far as you said the first human, do you believe one person or two people were created at one time and populated oh, everybody? Well, or you believe a well, lot of people were created well, at one time? Well, I believe that, you know, it takes men and a female to create life. But how many people were, who, who was created, how many people were created when the most high created everybody? Two people. That's what, that's what they say. That's, 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 that's what we're taught. That was Adam and Eve. Embrace civilization. So you, you believe the Bible, right? Yeah. Okay. Go to that. Go ahead. So, you, so you, you was wondering um, when he created man, right? Like when he created the first man? Yeah. Know, like first people? I mean, the, the first, you know, okay. beings, you know. Okay. Yeah, so it was, it was on the fifth day. It was on the fifth day, brother. Because uh, a lot of people say uh, that he created Adam and Eve, right? And those are the first people. But if, if, if you get that for me, but I think it's verse 20. Yeah. This is the Bible. Yeah, we believe in the Bible up here. But yeah. I got the blue in the room. Let me read uh, Genesis 1, and let's start at 21. Matter of fact, 20. And God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that have life and fowl that may fly above the earth in the open firmament of the heaven. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Now we can go to the Hebrew and see what the Hebrew says. So this is the... Um, the Hebrew word, 8318. Wait a minute. Creature, though. I think it's the one in, in verse 21. Oh, okay, come on. Yeah. So this is the Hebrew word. Check this out, bro. This is the word for creature right here. H5315 Nefesh. Verse where? It's the Hebrew word for the creature in Genesis 1 and 20 and 21. Okay. So this means soul, self, life, creature, person. So some are person. Or that which breathes the breathing substance or the being or the soul or the inner being of men. So some are. Uh, a creature like mankind being being created on the fifth day that's when that's when they were initially that's what man not adam and eve like we were told in the christian church you feel me but like um it's talking about all men because you gotta think about it uh, uh, tell me this bro like when uh when uh when can you you're familiar with the story with cain and abel right when cain killed abel and then um he was uh he was told to leave that lamb right yeah. and he found another wife where do you, where do you, where, where, Wait, but, but, but the better question is how how did man arrive though? This we trying to. We already yeah. agreed the most yeah. high. Yeah. Okay. So then. But we disagree on just two people. That's what we disagree about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We agree the most high created mankind, multiple people, multiple nations in the beginning. That's what we. That's what we're. Trying. So then, how how does how do you how do you be fruitful and populate the land? Like like how does man? Where's the woman coming in? 
What do you mean? We're I saying mean, women. Mankind is men and women. Okay. I, I didn't know you were Yeah, we're not, we're, not, we're not talking about no crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah. Homosexuality, that's, that's ridiculous. That's no, crazy. Man, for real it is. Yeah, yeah we're yeah. not saying that at all. Yeah, we're yeah. saying men and women yeah. represents mankind. Okay, that, that's what I didn't know. Yeah. And this is a, a preset to that. Let me see. That's what I'm going to Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm right here already. Oh, here. Well, let me see. Is this it? Oh yeah, here we go. Second answer is four. Or excuse me. Uh, second what? Second answer is six. And uh, forty, yeah, forty-seven. Upon the fifth day, thou sayest unto the seventh part, where the waters were gathered, that should bring forth living creatures, fowls and fishes, and so it came to pass. For the dumb water and without life brought forth living things at the commandment of God, that all people might praise thy wondrous works. Then didst thou ordain two living creatures, the one caused Enoch, and Enoch, the other yeah, Leviathan. And did it separate the one from the other, for the seventh part, namely where the water was gathered together, might not hold them both. Unto Enoch thou gavest one part, which was the dried up on the third day, that he should dwell in the same part where in the, are a thousand hills. So unto Leviathan thou gavest the seventh part, namely the moist, and have kept him to be devoured of whom thou wilt and win. So yeah, bro, like Leviathan is talking about the sea creatures. I and know uh, about Enoch. And uh, Enoch is talking about mankind. He, 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 was, he was one of the most powerful, you know, angels. Outside, out, outside of Lucifer. No, Hold on, what? Wasn't he one of the most powerful angels? Enoch is a man. I'm talking about as far as... They, they Enoch say, is an angel. They say they, they... Are you talking about the book of Enoch? Yeah, the book of Enoch. Yeah, that's well, what no, they, we don't believe in that. You don't? Nah. That's, okay. a, that's who the people for. Yeah. That, they well, well we would have to really sit down. I see, I, I'm saying, I mean, it's not, it's not to be, you know, uh, how can I say this? Uh, uh, the you know, no, 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 no. Disrespecting each other's thoughts. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm open to, to, to get knowledge from, you know, Absolutely. if it's the truth. You know what I mean? So that's, so, that's so, what we're here for. So that's why we have to sit down and talk about it. Fortunately, I can give you my number because I have to, you know, go to work. I'm on my way to work. So. Okay. Is there a car or something that we can... Yeah, you had the flyer, right? Okay. My number's on there. His number's on there. Okay. All the information's online. I appreciate I appreciate. All, all right, brother. This, What's your name again? Yeah, yeah. Andrew. Andrew. Yeah, okay. Biblical I'm, name I'm, as well. Yep. All praise the most high. Yeah. And you know who says that? The, the Jewish man in Kabbalah says that Enoch, when he was taken up, he turned, God turned him into like one of these like crazy strongest angel named Metatron. Crazy. That, he, was going, he was going in, he, he was going in, we go, we go. he was going into Kabbalah, Kabbalah right there. So. We go. Yeah. And there's a reason why we don't believe me not. We're not just saying it for a reason. It's all good. That's crazy. Jewish man and took it and is turning into some damn... I mean, they can say whatever they want. I know, I know. But yeah, I didn't know Jewish people <laughs> well, turned into like a marvel. With the Kabbalists, you know. like the, uh, the mists, the yeah, mystics. Yeah, Jewish mysticism. Like, yeah. I kind of want to hear a little quick rundown. What's up, bro? How you doing, man? What's up, buddy? Oh, what's your name, bro? Dove. You said De Devin? Doe, D-O-E. D-O-E? Yeah. Doe? Okay. Uh, it's a Zach. So, uh, have you heard about this information, bro? Or nah? Have you, are you familiar with the Bible? or? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, are you, did you uh, are you Christian or what? What's your uh, religious background? Nothing. Did you grow up in a church or like? Lightweight, yeah. What's the main, what's the main message that you grasp from the from from like growing up in? Because you said you grew up in church, right? Or a little bit. A little I bit. I was forced to go. Are you forced to go? Hey, a lot of us were forced to go. Yeah. But like, what's the what's the main message that you that you like obtain from like going to church or like, like, what kind of morals like? Like how to treat people and whatnot. I mean, just respect. That's really about it. Respect. Yeah. I was, okay. I never was into it. Where, where, where you from, bro? Like I'm from uh, here, Berkeley. Berkeley. Yeah. Okay. So I mean, but but I mean, I mean, I, I'm sure you're familiar with what goes on like yeah. out here because I'm, I'm from the East Bay too. But like, is there is there respect amongst amongst the black community? Would you say? Like when we're out here, like nah. gunning each other down. You feel me? Like selling drugs to 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 our. Uh, to, uh, to, to your I mean, best friends, like family member, auntie, mother? I mean, mother? back in the day, it was like that, but not now. Nah. What you, what you mean? You saying 
like mm-hmm. like when I grew up in the nineties and shit. Like yeah, every it was hella dope out here. Yeah. Feel me? I'm talking but, about the because it's still killing going on out here, right? Like it's still a lot of a little bit lightweight. Yeah. We're not talking about just the East Bay. We're talking about just, yeah, just as, as a whole. Yeah. As oh. a people group. Oh. Not just oh, yeah, where we're yeah. at in Berkeley. There's no hoods in Berkeley. We know that. Yeah. Oakland, San Francisco, yeah. you know, Richmond. We know what goes on there. But, of course, it died down a little bit. But we're talking about as a, as a collective group of people. Yeah. You know what I mean? As a nation of people. Blacks in Atlanta. Blacks in New York. Blacks in Chicago. Yeah. You know what I mean? We know what's going on. We're still killing each other. Yeah. And that's what he's referencing. Like, okay. what's the... Uh, why aren't we doing that? If, if we, we both recognize we're supposed to respect people, especially our own people that yeah. look like us, why are the collective group of people doing it? Hmm. People that claim they believe in God as well, yeah. whether they go to church or not. And I think it's, uh, I don't know. People want a name for themselves. Uh, in the streets. Yeah, in the streets. Yeah. You know? Like a shit monkey dude. And then, like, I mean, because there's a lot of opportunities out here to do different shit, but... Um, how can I see this? How can I say it? I don't know. That's kind of hard. That's kind of hard. Well, that's what we're getting at. Yeah. We, we would take the stance of that if we believe in the Bible, we believe in God, and obviously we're oh, teaching the Bible, yeah. we have the information that proves that if we believe in the Creator, and this is God's Word for the most part, God ordained everything right right so of course we're playing a role in his movie and the, the, the script is right here in the bible yeah. prophecy you know what prophecy is right yeah. say something before it happens and years later however long it takes it's going to happen yeah. exactly how god says to happen so we're saying that that's why we're in the predicament we are today us as people of god disobey god so that's why we're under oppression we're under curses quote unquote generational curses that's why the people want to make a name for themselves, snitch on each other on Instagram and kill each other. Like that's we're doing it just for nothing because we don't care about each other, we don't love each other, we don't respect each other, and that's a curse in the Bible. That's that's the overall message that we're getting. At. Return to our nationality, return to our identity, love each other, and we're not going to do that no more. That's the basis of the message. You know what I mean? Yeah. Would you agree with that message? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. So do you still believe in God or the Bible or no? Oh yeah, I believe in it. Okay. I just never was into it. You know, right. yeah. maybe you weren't taught properly. That's another thing as well. Cause yeah. a lot of people we meet and talk to, because we've been doing this for a while. Every week, you know what I mean. Yeah. We talk to different people from different backgrounds, different walks of life, and they all. Some people believe in the cross. Some people believe in other religions. But people that believe in the Bible, some people leave the church. But I mean, the church is doing nonsense for them. Yeah. But of course, that's not a representation of God or the Bible. That's person that they're learning from and they see doing wickedly or operating in a certain fashion yeah. that doesn't change how god operates but at the same time maybe that was a, a way to get them away from the methodology that they were learning from and not be lied to but we believe the church teaches the Bible. we don't teach what the church teaches we teach that our people are the people of god and we need to repent that's what repentance is turning from sin which is what killing murdering people are that's a sin yeah. you know all the other nonsense that we do selling dope to each other those aren't positive things. Those are curses that we're fulfilling prophecy in. And, and that's why we need to get back to our nationality and history and yeah. understand how the Bible fits us as a people group. And that's why we reference the whole people, not just you per se, but yeah. since you're one of our people, we have to tell you the truth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I'm willing to listen. You know what I mean? So the information is all on the fly, brother. Now you got your family with you. Yep, I don't know how much time you got, but everything's on YouTube if you have any questions. For you know, sure. We'll be here every Friday, probably. Thank you, man. All right, bro. Thank you. Sorry, man. Yeah, thank you. Definitely. Just go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, are you, are you gonna read for me? Or, uh, yeah, I'll read. Okay. I'll read. Oh, yeah. I can read on that. Let me call the Deuteronomy 28. Verse 15. Verse 15. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right? It's talking about our people, right? It's talking about all the curses. All, all, because we didn't obey the Most High God, right? All these curses are going to come upon us, right? Uh, if you can read the following verse. Verse buddy. 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city and cursed shall thou be in the field. 
Right. Curtis shout out be in the city and Curtis shout out be in the field, right? Like, like I asked her brother, right? Um, as a collective, right? We're out here, we're out here still, uh, we're, we're still cursing the city. We're out here gunning each other uh, down. Um, we're, we're still, um, we're, we're committing sorcery against our people, right? By, by selling each other drugs um, and just, just all out just hating our people, right? Hating the people that look just like you. And, uh, and we're cursing the field, right? We know what happened in slavery, right? People, people like to say that this happened hundreds of years ago, but, uh, but it's still going on, right? Uh, contrary to public belief, right? Uh, we see what's going on uh, at the border, right? I, um, uh, I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I had just looked up and seen that, that there's uh, 300,000 children still missing, right? Unaccounted for at the border uh, to this very day, right? It, you give me uh, verse uh, 25, bro. Deuteronomy 20, 25. The Lord shall cause thee to be smitten before thy enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them and flee seven ways before them, and thou shalt be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. Right, that's talking about uh, ultimately like uh, us being slain, right? Going to all these different places, right? Whether it's when we uh, when we were um, we were kicked out of uh, kicked out of Jerusalem, right? The the uh, the southern, southern kingdom, right? What's going on, ladies? She said, what are we talking about? Is she Mexican? Are, you, uh, are you curious as to see what's going on? We just want to know what it is about. Okay. I'm sorry, you said you're Mexican? Okay. Like your, your father, mother? My mom. mom. What's your father? He's white? Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you this. Like, do, do, you, do you subscribe to the Bible? or? Um... Not really, no. Not really? Okay. So um, let, me, let me ask you this, though. Like, when you see when you see images like this, right? Have you, have you are you familiar with these images? Like people getting lynched? Cause this is American history, right? We can't get away from this, right? Yeah. What, what did you say? Like, would and, and I'm sorry. Wait. So are you are you are you Christian or do you you said you did subscribe? I don't really care. Okay. I mean, but w would you say cause cause these people like these people that that lynch these people? Um, go cause you got Mexicans up here, uh, like your mother, right? We got Native Americans and, and along with uh, uh, black people, right? Um, so we believe we believe the people on this sign are um, are God's people, contrary to what I believe. Like 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 your mom, for example. But but do you think this is Christ-like right here? Like burning people alive, having children pick picking cotton, is that Christ-like? Because these people like 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 these people uh, identify as Christians, like the Ku Klux Klan, right? They identify as Christians. Would you say that's Christ-like, European? So, so, so should 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 these people be should should the people that did this to to, to our people, right? The people that the men that you see up here, like, should, should should there be some kind of like recompense for like what they did? You think? Or, like, have you ever heard? Have you? Do you believe in karma? More or less. Okay. Okay. But yeah, you want to find out. You want to find out. Because well, well, I don't know if you have to get going. But 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 this is what we're talking about. We're, so we're, we're we're saying that the people on this sign, right, are God's chosen people. Uh, not 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 those Jews over there, right? Because a lot of people believe that those Jews in Israel, the people that are bombing those Palestinians, that are that are um, that are threatening or, or demanding. To, I don't know if you if you keep, keep up with geopolitics, but they're demanding to to stick a broom up a lot of Palestinians' uh, anus and, and rape these men. Have you heard about that? Oh my God. H have you heard about, have you heard that that's going on, right? They are protesting for that right now. Not that specifically. They, yeah. That was like a few days ago. But they locked up some people, they locked up some IDF soldiers. That's how she feels about the missing children. And then the people that are outside in Israel, they're protesting against the people that got locked up for that. You think that's kind of crazy? Yeah. It's madness. Like who, like, who would fight for that type of type of debauchery? But these are the people that are the same people that are bombing children. Of course, they're going to defend that. They have no moral compass. So that's what we're trying to the roundabout way. That's part of the message. You know what I mean? The things that are happening in America are similar to the things that are happening over there right now. But where is the justice going to come? Yeah. What do you think has to happen? I mean, I don't want to really get into it right now because we gotta go. But okay. I just was trying to see what's up because yeah, that's, that's okay. I like so that's a roundabout message, you know, as far as the current events, things like that. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, cool. No problem. But, yeah. Thanks for. Okay, just one more thing though, because um.
because I know you said you're white, right? Your your dad's white. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you know that. Well, your patrial lineage, like your 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 um, your your descendancy, is a uh, is con is a uh, considered by your your dad's lineage, right? So you be you be from the lineage of the so-called white man. Even though your mom is part of us, you actually wouldn't be uh, one of us. And and because of because of what your people did to us, I mean, uh, the, the, like like slavery and whatnot, you will also go into slavery. That's why I, that's why I mentioned uh, 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 karma, right? If I could just bring out one more verse, right? Because because we can agree, like like your mom's Mexican, right? I'm I'm Mexican, so I don't know, I'm I'm pretty sure you, you've heard the story. Like colonizers came here, and they and they uh, they came to Mexico and they they gave us. Uh, a uh, last name like Gonzalez, you know what I mean? Uh, Juarez, all these last names. That's because we, we belong to those plantations. But because of what your people, like what, what your dad's people did to your mom's people, there's there's actually, there, there's there's some justice to be served, right? If I could just show you this, like, you got that, brother? Revelation? Yeah. It's Revelation 13 and nine. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So it says, he that leadeth into captivity, right? Just how uh, your dad's people, or, or your people really, because you're, you're of your dad. Just how you, how how, 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 how white people, so-called white people, led us into slavery, right? Black and Latinos. And, and the next kingdom to, uh, to come, right? You will also be a slave to us. Right? So I just want to let you know, right? I will take care.